Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna actually talk about a, a formula, actually how to drive the formula as well. So one of the like main complaints in the trick, I guess, is uh, too many uh, formulas people need to know, I guess. But in my opinion, most of those formulas or relations, I would say, or identities, something you don't really need to remember as long as you know how to drive them by using some techniques from the other ones. So if you do know that, then you don't really need to memorize most of these. You just need to apply uh, some approaches into some of the formulas that you already know, okay? So which is why this is gonna be the one of them that you, you really wanna actually remember. So which is gonna be some, I guess, uh, formulas. So, and then difference as well. So to do so, I'm gonna make a triangle, okay? So let's say this is a triangle and then I will drop the altitude from one vertex to the other side. So let's say this is my altitude. I'll call this is A, B, C, let's say this is H. So if I take this altitude as one, you can take some other numbers as well, but it's gonna be easier for us to actually get it. So, and then I'll label the angles right here. So I'm gonna call this is alpha and this is beta. Since I'm gonna just find this sum of like sine first, I just need to have two different uh, like triangles that has angles, right? Alpha and beta. So my, my goal is to find the sine of alpha plus beta. This is what we are basically gonna try to find out, okay? So, to do so, I'll just use this uh, this figure and find the area of the ABC in two different ways. I can do uh, area of the ABC is just area of the larger triangle, that's it. And I can do the area of this triangle plus area of this triangle, okay? Since I said this is altitude, so let me actually put these as well. And before we do, you know, since this is a trick lesson, so you really wanna know uh, area of a triangle with this sign, okay? So let me remind that just real quick. So if you have any, any triangle, it doesn't have to be right or acute, obtuse, whatever, it does work. So let's say this is A, this is B, and this is C. So if you know one of the angles, and if you know the two sides, okay? So the area of this triangle is, is equal to two sides that is uh, connected at vertex, so the X, I will say actually AB. Let me go with this AB. So AB times BC times the sine of the angle measured in between those two sides. So sine alpha. And this whole thing will be divided by two. You can just write one half times those three, that's okay. And this is one of the common ways that we use to find the area of a triangle using the angle measure, okay? So I'm gonna use this in this problem as well. So let's get into it. So if I wanna find the area of this larger triangle, you know, I can do this. The area of the ABC can be done in two different ways. I can just find the, the larger ones altogether or adding those to smaller, okay? So which can be written as A, B, H plus AHC, okay? So the ABC, I'm gonna use the this idea to find the area. So I'm gonna just take the angle A as complete full angle. So BAC is alpha plus beta. Okay, so the area of that triangle is, I'm gonna take one half times AB times AC times the angle measured between those two sides, which is sine alpha plus beta. And this is equal to the area of the smaller triangle. But before I kind of maybe actually write this as well, I will find the area of this smaller triangle and using this angle. So that would be one half times AB, which is like this side, times this side, which is AH. AH is one, maybe I should replace this next step. So AH times sine of the angle measured out in between those two sides, which is beta. So this is the area of this region. 
Maybe I should have um, used some color coding. Actually, let me do that. So let's say this is A, B, H. And that's the area of that triangle. Okay, so now I'll just find the area of the AHC. So let's say this is gonna be AHC. So that's gonna be plus one half times AH, which is, I wanna write it for now, times AC times sine of the angle measuring between those two sides, which is alpha. So now this is what we have, right? So I don't know AB, right? I just like to find a value for AB in terms of this angle. But at the same time, I know this angle is next to the one, which is my adjacent side, and this is my hypotenuse. So I can use the sine beta. So if I take sine beta, that will be, I mean, not sine, the cosine beta. Cosine beta is equal to one over a, a b. So if I want to find a b, I can flip this fraction. So a b will be one, I can flip this as well. So one over cosine beta. So keep this in mind. Or you can just take like divided by one and do cross multiplication, or you can take drag this AB right here, cosine B is as denominated, so you can do it either way. That will give us this guy. And I need to find AC as well. So, you know, on the other triangle, one is my adjacent side to this guy, and AC is a hypotenuse. So I can use my cosine alpha, which is gonna be one over AC. So from there, AC will be one over cosine alpha. Okay, so we have at least these as well. So let's plug this into the, the equation that we had. So since we have all one halves, I can multiply the equation, both sides of the equation by two, so cancel those one halves. So that will be AB left over, which is, we already know one over cos beta, right? So one over cosine beta times AC, AC is one over cosine alpha, one over cosine alpha times sine alpha plus beta. And A equals AB, which is one over cosine, if you let me write. So AB was one over cosine, okay, AB was cosine beta, right, okay. Maybe I should have done any color coding right now because that was the, the area of those triangles. So I just used that. So maybe I can continue with the same color. So one over cosine beta, AH is one and sine beta. And then AH is still one. And then AC is one over cosine alpha times sine alpha. Okay, so we are almost there, but at the same time, our goal was to get sine alpha plus beta, which means it looks like right here, so we don't really need this guy. So to get rid of that guy, so I can multiply both sides by cosine beta times cosine alpha. So I can multiply the, the left side, okay, by that. But I cannot play favorite, so I need to multiply right side as well. So cosine beta times cosine alpha. So I hope that makes uh, clear so far. So these will cancel each other. So that will be just what we want on the left side. So that will be sine alpha plus beta. That is equal to, you know, if you multiply these two with the this product, the cosine beta and the cosine beta will cancel. So you will get sine like, sine beta and cosine alpha, right? So let me write sine beta times cosine alpha. Plus, if you multiply this by this product, so the cosine alpha and cosine alpha will cancel, so you get sine alpha times cosine beta, I guess. So let me double check. So I have sine 
alpha cosine beta. Okay, and then I do have sine beta and cosine alpha. Okay, I think this is all good. But to make um like a bit better to remember, so I'm gonna actually rewrite this equation a little bit differently. So I can write this as since I start with sine, right? So sine alpha plus beta. I will just actually go with sine first. So sine alpha actually. I just keep the order sine alpha times cosine beta. So I'll just pull this in front plus, and then sine alpha cosine beta. And then I'll go with sine beta times cosine alpha. And this is this is the relation that I really actually want you to remember. Uh, not to memorize it, but use this a few times. Maybe do this process on your own a few times until you really get uh, feel better, like better at this. So whenever you feel you are good with that, you are really uh, getting the whole like process. Then you should be fine with this uh, identity. And this is equal to actually let me put this back. So this is equal to the sine alpha plus beta. Again. It looks like too long, but you will see this is gonna be one of the easy ones that you are gonna actually deal with in general. Okay, so which is why this is gonna be one of your foundations. Okay, so maybe one of the ways that I can kind of remind you to remember this one, sine of some of the two angles, right, is the sine of the first angle times cosine of the second angle plus sine of the second angle plus times cosine of the first angle. So alpha, beta, beta, alpha, you can kind of make a order relation that might be helpful. So that is something we are done, okay? So I hope that was clear. So this is um, one of the most important identities that we have in trig, okay? So I'll see you in the next video.